for you. Here I am. Would you tell people, please, where you're going to be? No. No? Yes. No. There are some people I don't want to know. Why do you have to assume that every conversation we have is going to be an argument? Because it always is. And I'm going to pass on it today, if that's all right with you. I see. You interested in your children? What? Your children. Are you interested in your children? Have you heard from Aiden? Oh, you from Ted? I'm so glad you're interested. What are you trying to do, hurt me? We're this close to Aiden and Ted. You haven't even called for an update. Please don't take my lack of communication as an indication of my lack of interest, all How right? How would you like it to be interpreted? If they both come home, I will hear about it. I thought you were just going to stay in your cottage and then hide, right? Is that what you're going to do? I'm trying not to mislead you. If they come back to us, things are not going to change between us. Look, Sophia, I understand what you're going through. I really do. I know you must feel the need to distance yourself. Please, let the walls come down. The family needs you. I'm not going to let you put me through the ringer like this. Every time we see each other, all right? I have made a decision. And you are going to have to live by that decision. Let me ask you a question. If Ted and Eden and Kelly came to you and said, Mom, we want you to come home, what would you do? Would you come home? No. No. What happens if, if, if I bury the hatchet with Mason and he begged you to come home? What would you do then? No. Is there anything, anything in the world that would make you change your mind about this? That's what I've been trying to tell you, but you won't listen to me. You just got your wish. I've listened. But you know something? It, it, it's, it's understandable. It really is that you're not thinking straight. We've been through a hell of a lot. I just want you to know. I love you. I'll probably always love you. But I can't wait for you. I got a life to live, kiddo, and I've got to get on with it. release you.